Hi guys, today we're going to consider a different type of uh, problem involving indices when we've got simultaneous equations with indices. So let's consider the problem. Here we've got two equations with the variables x and y. So these are simultaneous equations that we can solve. They look very difficult for us to do anything with. So what we've actually got to do is we've got to simplify each of these equations into a form that we can solve. Right, so let's uh, have a think about that. Let's take each of these equations in turn. So let's start with the first one. 9 to the power of x is equal to 27 to the power of y. Now, hopefully what you should notice is that these numbers here uh, can be converted to have the same base, right? The base 3. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace 9 with 3 squared. So we get 3 squared to the power of x. And we replace 27 with 3 cubed to the power of y. Then we can ask, well, can we actually convert this, the 1 on the right-hand side, to a base 3? And the answer is yes, because if you remember, 3 to the power of 0 is 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. Right? So what we've done is, is we've been able to convert both sides now to the form of base 3. But we still need to simplify, right? We, we're going to do the next step by multiplying out these powers. And if you remember, that comes from this rule. If I have a to the power of m, all to the power of n, then I multiply the powers. I get a to the power of m, n. So here I'm going to have 3 to the power of 2x times by 3 to the power of 3y is equal to 3 to the power of 0. And we can simplify again because now what we can do is we can combine these two powers. How do we do that? Well, we know this rule from before. If I have a to the power of m times by a to the power of n, then I add the powers a to the power of m plus n. So here, what will I have? I can simplify to give 3 to the power of 2x plus 3y is equal to 3 to the power of 0. And so now both left and right hand side are in the form of base 3. And so if that's the case, I know that these powers here must be equal. So I can simplify down to 2x plus 3y is equal to 0. Okay. So to clarify, what has just happened? In effect, what has happened is we have taken this difficult equation here, which involves indices and, and powers and things like that, and we have converted it to a simple form like what we have here, right? 2x plus 3y is equal to 0. And we're going to do the same thing with the next equation, okay? So have a look at this one. We've got 4 to the power of x is equal to uh, root 2 to the power of y, uh, sorry, 4 to the power of x divided by root 2 to the power of y is equal to 128. Now, as you look at this, you should hopefully recognize by now that all of these numbers here can be converted to base 2. So let's do that. Let's replace 4 with 2 squared. So we get 2 squared to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of a half to the power of y. Now, if you're not sure on that, you can remember that if we have the nth root of a, that is equal to a to the power of 1 upon m, right? So the square root of a uh, is just a to the power of a half. What about 128? Well, 128 is a, is a multiple of uh, uh, 2, or it's a power of 2, sorry. And we can write that as 2 to the power of 7, right? These are some of the numbers that you'll need to be able to remember, right? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. These are all powers of 2. All right, well, next step, we're going to multiply out these powers as we did in, in the previous uh, example. We're going to have 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of a half y is equal to 2 to the power of 7. And now we can use the, the division rule. Because if we've got a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, 
and that is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So here we have 2 to the power of 2x minus a half y is equal to 2 to the power of 7. Okay, I've just subtracted the powers. And again, if this is true, then these two powers here must also be equal, right? Because if the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal and they share the same base, then the powers must be equal. So we end up with 2x minus a half y is equal to 7. So to recap, what have we just done? We've converted this difficult equation here into this simpler equation here. So we have taken these, uh, this pair of simultaneous equations that we can't solve and converted them to this pair of simultaneous equations which we can solve using our known methods of uh, elimination or substitution. Now I'm going to use elimination here. The reason I'm going to do that is because we've got 2x and 2x here. So if I subtract one equation from the other, I'm just going to end up with 0x. I'm going to eliminate my x's. So let's do that. So 2x minus 2x is 0. And 3y minus minus 3y is uh, 3.5y. So sorry, plus 3.5y. And then 0 minus 7 is minus 7. So if I've got 3.5y is equal to minus 7, what if I divide by 3.5, I'm going to get minus 2, right? So y is equal to minus 2. And then hopefully we should be able to see by, by substitution that if y is equal to minus 2, we can substitute it back into one of these equations like this one here. And we're going to get 2x plus 3 times by minus 2 is equal to 0. So 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 6, or x is equal to 3. So in the end, our two solutions to the set of simultaneous equations is that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 2. Now, OK, that is all uh, I'm sure seems quite complicated. But what I want you to, to understand is, in essence, the method is quite straightforward. You take both of these equations here and you use the tools of indices to simplify them into ordinary linear equations, right? Equations like these two ones here in yellow, because these equations you can solve, right? So that the, the, the way you want to go about this kind of problem is to try to simplify each equation as much as you can until you get it looking something like what we have in yellow. Okay, guys, I hope that will help you with your homework exercise. Uh, best of luck. I look forward to seeing your work later. Take care, and I'll see you next time.